Well, hello again, and uh, welcome to this MathCAD tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to use uh, ordinary differential equation solver built into MathCAD uh, as a way to simulate simple linear systems. Uh, the system that we're going to study or that I'm going to simulate is a simple RC low pass filter uh, depicted here. We have an input VG and we have an output VS, the voltage across the capacitor. And I've defined some values here. I've calculated a time constant tau, which, uh, let's see, by the way, is uh, uh, 0.1 milliseconds. I've calculated um, the um, pull frequency and um, in, in radians per second and in, in um, hertz. And now we come to the part that's really of interest here. You can forget all of that, but um, what we're really looking for, I'll pose the question first, what, how, do we, how do we determine the time domain response of this circuit if we excite it with a square wave depicted here in this plot going from 0 to 10 volts? Um, I would like MathCAD to actually simulate this. And so uh, you can use uh, what is known as an ordinary differential equation solver routine. And uh, if we highlight that, I press F1, help will come up. And here we're given information on this. It passes. Um, these are the arguments. Uh, the first argument is, in general, a vector because you could have a set of first order differential equations. In our case here, we have just one first order differential equation. X is the independent variable, so if we're, in, if we're evaluating something that has derivatives with respect to time, we'd put T for time. Um, and um, variable B is the end time of the simulation, so if we're simulating time, uh, basically it's the, the, where X would be T for time. Uh, if we set B to 10, then it would simulate to 10 seconds. Uh, intervals here is a optional uh, parameter, which is, let's see, we're told down here, it's called the uh, discretization interval. And so uh, by default, um, the number of simulation points is the number of intervals plus one. So there will be, a, by default, a thousand and one simulation points. If we set uh, the final point here to be, or time to be one, then approximately uh, each the, the, the solver will solve the differential equation at 0 0.001 seconds, 0 0.002 seconds, 0 0.003, and so forth. So if your result is uh, undersampled, in other words, you're not, um, the, the solver is not, is taking too large of steps, you can um, actually put in this optional value. In the example I will show you here, we don't need to do that. Okay, let me close that. Um, another thing that I would point out that you should make use of in general is under help, there's also what is known as quick sheets. These are different than um, the help. And the nice thing about the quick sheets is it's actually live uh, MathCAD uh, spreadsheets. So if we look here, we've got calculus and differential equations. We have solving first order ordinary differential equation initial value problem or solving a first order system of ordinary differential equations. Let me show you this one. Okay, so what is uh, of interest here, I'll just point out is that, um, remember in the help it said that the first argument for ODE solve was a vector. And that's because you can actually have, you can be solving for uh, more than one, uh, one dependent variable. In this case, we have three differential equations here. So a differential equation in terms of the derivative of y0, and it's a function of y0 and y1. We have the, different, the derivative of y1, it's a function of y0 and y1, and y2. And then we have the derivative of y2, which is a function of y0, y1, and y2. So these are coupled. Okay, but there are three 
first order differential equations and in each case we would specify can I move it I guess I can't move it an initial condition what does the simulation start out at so lest this be confusing let's just go to our example here because it's a simple single first order differential equation so this should look familiar if you've looked at any of the other tutorials this is our first order differential equation for our RC, uh, RC filter the only difference is here I've used the variable y instead of the output voltage across the capacitor of VC but y is VC here so all I'm all this is saying is um, let me zoom in uh, <clears throat> tau and then this is seconds to the minus one so it's tau over seconds the reason I have to do this I don't know why but um, MathCAD the ODE solver does not like units so I put a note here um, the ODE solver does not like units therefore tau must be divided by seconds to render it unitless but effectively this is tau times the derivative of y plus y is equal to vg which is this time varying signal that we are excited that's exciting the system I specify an initial condition and notice here I do not assign y0 zero of 0 to 0 I use the boolean equality so that's control 0 um, this is shorthand for the derivative y prime and I believe let me see if you do control f7 yeah control f7 we'll put in derivatives I don't know where you find that I found it in the help but not in the menu so control f7 okay so here are the parts uh, that you need to, to solve this you need to give the keyword given all right then you state what the solver will be solving notice these are both uh, not assignment not assignment but uh, boolean equality statements the solver will iterate numerically iterate on its solution so as to ensure that everything that's between the given and where it's called will be solved so in other words the left side here will equal the right side and the left side here will equal the right side within some tolerance of error and it'll do that for every point in time all right so we can see this in action if I change for instance I guess I better make it smaller here um, KP just changes the frequency at which I drive my square wave so if I change this from 2 to 10 there it re-simulated it now in this case I'm not starting from time 0 so maybe I should delete this put 0 and then this shows um, how this how this initial condition right here affects the simulation if I were to say it starts at 10 and rerun it now it's starting up here it ultimately finds the same steady state solution but there's a transient solution here that we're not uh, you know you you may be interested in but uh, a lot of times you're interested just in the steady state where things actually settle out at so if I give it any value in between like if I give it a value 5 well then it pretty much starts where it is going to end up all right I think that is all I wanted to say